It's January 1st and here we are to bring you the last news about Football Club Barcelona. And as you know, tomorrow we play against Real Club Deportivo Español. But well, after a great year 2015 with a lot of trophies, a lot of uh, personal awards, with a few step backs like uh, Celta de Vigo that was punching the heart and when we lost the Super Spanish Cup against Athletic de Bilbao, but the rest was all PER effect was perfect and it will be hard to, to keep the same level this year, but hopefully we can even do it better. But this new year is maybe a new opportunity for the MSN to surprise us, to get a new score uh, record, like score many goals. I think we are strong, MSN is happy, they, they enjoy playing together. Also the midfielders, we, we found out this great player this year, Sergi Roberto is now one of our most important players. And at our, as a, our defenders, we, we saw that Mathieu can be very good playing with Piqué. Also Verma Helen had a, a few opportunities, but he didn't show too much. I also, I'm, I'm not very happy with Sandro and Munir, we'll see what happens, maybe they might be sold, but let's wait for it. Bartra at the end will stay in Barcelona because he doesn't want to leave the team, so I'm happy that he is staying. But well, now let's think a little bit about the next game. We need the three points because even if we are first with 38, we are missing one game. It's important to win every single game and I think if we keep the ball as we always do, we can get these three points and it's, it's an opportunity to show the world that a great year was left behind and now it's the opportunity to start a new year with the same foot. Also, don't forget about that 2016, not for this game but for the other one, we will have the pleasure to see Alex Vidal and Arda Turan finally after six months. Six months? What? Six months? Well, let's focus on the game of Saturday against Real Club Deportivo Español, the puppets from Real Madrid. I think they will start the game strong, they will go for the attack, because I don't think they care about their own points, because now they're 13 in the league with 20. They just want to help Real Madrid to get close to us. It's not going to happen because also in the midfields their brains like Victor Sanchez and Cañas they're injured so they're not going to play so if we keep the ball in the midfield they will have a lot of problems to create like goal chances but they have a good striker like Felipe Caicedo the, Equator, the guy from Ecuador he might be hard in, in the small area because he's big and tall so hopefully Piqué and Mathieu can stop him easily. Also, the defenders, they got new incorporations like Thiani, the op. Uh, maybe we will have a little bit of trouble getting through them, but I think we can handle them. If we, ca if we keep the ball in the midfield, they will be going crazy looking for that, for that ball. They also have a new coach, which name is Galka, but that shouldn't be any problem for us. So this team, is gonna, I think, in my opinion, is gonna go hard to get goals to beat Barcelona only to help Real Madrid, not for their own. Good. Good. Thank you, brother. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go with the lineup that Luis Enrique, I think he should put in the field to beat this team. And the goalie, I think he should go with Claudio Bravo, even if we got a few problems with their second, because he's not very happy because he didn't play in Japan. But he should keep growing up and showing us how good he is as a goalkeeper in the Champions League and in the Spanish Cup. In the Liga, I think we should keep with Claudio Bravo and his experience. So Claudio Bravo in the goalie. Then, wings, back. Left back, Jordi Alba is rested, so he will be back in the field. And Dani Alves will be there, the best partner from Lionel Messi. And then, center backs, Piqué is also rested, so he's going to play. And in the last game, Mathieu, Vermael and Mascherano were there, so I think he should play now with Bartra and give him a few minutes. He, he deserved it. So Piqué and Bartra as centre-backs. Then in the midfield, our captain, also rested, he's going to be there controlling the ball, creating opportunities for the MSN. And also with him in the midfield, Rakitic. But this time I will play with Sergi Roberto. Busquets, I think he should finally rest also. Iniesta got the chance to rest, now it's Busquets' time. So, in the midfield, like I said, Iniesta, Rakitic and Sergi Roberto. And in the front, Messi, Suarez and Neymar, because I think Sandro and Munir, they're not in the level yet. They might be sold, so until we don't have someone like Arda Turan, who is coming pretty soon, 
I will stay with Messi, Suarez and Neymar. Suarez, the shark in the little area, Messi creating the opportunities and Neymar with his magic. That's my lineup. And as for prediction, that's my lineup. And my prediction, I think we will score a 5-0, something that Real Madrid likes a lot. 5-0 for Football Club Barcelona, three goals from Neymar because in the last game he didn't score his penalty, a penalty that I think didn't exist, but this time he will score a hat-trick and two goals from Luis Suarez. I think Messi will help them to get higher in the Pichichi rank. So that's my prediction, 5-0. If you have a better one, write it down. Subscribe, comment below, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you very soon. Have a wonderful year and may all your wishes come true.